Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant, and there's a reason this video is vertical. So I've been asked a number of times recently what the resolution looks like through the Oculus Rift, and I'm going to attempt to show you that here. Now, what I'm doing here, this is actually a, a video recording of my monitor, this isn't the Rift itself, and the reason I'm doing that is to highlight the problems and artifacts caused by recording a monitor or a screen. What we're seeing here is Elite Dangerous, directly on my monitor. The settings are at 1080p. And as you can see, the colours look washed out, and there's a number of other artifacts and problems. But the point of this is to show you what a high-quality image actually looks like when recorded via a phone. And here's my desktop, and this actually introduces a number of other artifacts, and you can see there's a lot of horrible uh, grid type patterns going on here. So please keep all this in mind when you see the following footage. Uh, I did try using my DSLR to record but I was unable to focus through the lenses on the Rift. Now this is looking through the Rift itself and there are a number of the previous issues present here but that's due to how I've captured it. But what you can see is the quality of the resolution itself some of the text is readable, some isn't. You can see most of the text there is actually pretty good. And this here is in the station. Another thing to keep in mind is that this vertical slice is only a small portion of the entire field of view you actually get when you side the rift. And what I'll do here is look around a bit. You can see the Dahan gateway. The text is very readable. The right panel here is slightly less so, but you can make out what it's saying, if you already know. The graphics in the environment itself look nothing short of amazing, but you can probably see the screen door effect here. Going back to the original point I made about this video being vertical, the reason for that is vertical is the only way I could get my phone camera lens up against the rift whilst simultaneously managing to focus it on what's actually going on inside the rift. So yes, the resolution is fairly low, but it's more than made up for with the other benefits that the Rift gives you, such as True 3D and head tracking. It really can't be underestimated the sense of spatial awareness you get when you're inside the Rift. And nowadays immersion is perhaps a bit of a dirty word, but the truth be told, there's nothing else that compares. It literally feels like you're in the ship, that you're sitting inside the station, that you're flying around in vast depthless space. And to me that more than makes up for the fact that in some cases some of the text is very hard to read and in other cases almost impossible to read. But you guys will really need to make your own minds up to decide whether or not that's a problem for you and hopefully this video will help you decide a bit. Chances are when the dev kit 2 comes out things are going to look a lot better and when the consumer version comes out, things should look very good indeed. Time will tell, and hopefully the final release isn't too far off. So please don't see this video as me rifting on the rift. It's actually a great piece of kit, and it's how I play Elite all the time. But a lot of you guys asked the question, what's the resolution like? And I've done my best to answer that question for you. I hope it helps. This has been Obsidian Ant, signing off.